Welcome to Spectrum 2050 channel for tutorial and education. This is Professor Adim. Today we'll give an introduction to nature and life sciences. Let's begin by asking these questions. What is the difference between inert and living world? What are academic branches in nature and life sciences? Living things from large to small scales. The Earth is the only place in the universe where life exists. From a scientific perspective, life is generally defined by characteristics distinguishing living things from non-living matter. Living things are bounded physical entities at variable scales, such as animals, plants, microorganisms, and fungi interacting dynamically with their environment, exerting a complex array of biological processes, including respiration, nutrition, growth, excretion, and reproduction. The Earth contains the living part biotic factors and the non-living part abiotic factors. The abiotic factors represent the hydrosphere water ecosphere, lithosphere, rock, and atmosphere here. The global sum of all ecosystems encompassing our region of Earth where life exists compose the biosphere. Bounded physical entities are classified according to type being plants or animals or fungi or microorganisms or protists and according to scale being microscopic or macroscopic and according to number of cells being unicellular or multicellular and according to environmental distribution if this animal are living in soil or in water or in air or in forest. The fundamental unit of nature is an ecosystem, which comprises all living organisms or biocenosis within a specific environment or biotop. Communities are formed by various populations that interact with one another and share a common environment. For example, this is communities in animals and here in plants. Individuals with similar physical characteristics constitute a species for animals, for example, and plants. The organism of an individual is organized into system or apparatus. In animals, in plants, um, each of which consists of a collection of organs in animals and in plants. Each organ, in turn, is composed of various tissues, here in animal and in plant. Tissue refers to a group of cells that work together to perform a specific function in the body. Cells, the basic building blocks of all living organisms, are classified into animal cells, plant cells, prokaryotic cells, this is all these different cells under the microscope. Cells contain organelles and organic molecules. Organelles such as mitochondrium, for example, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, uh, cytoskeleton filaments, uh, nucleus, and more. The cell also contains organic molecules or biomolecules that are classified into four main groups, lipids, nucleic acids, carbohydrates, and proteins. The basic molecular units of lipids are fatty acids. For nucleic acids are nucleotides. For carbohydrates are monosaccharides and for proteins are amino acids. The molecules can be made up of bounded atoms. The atoms are the basic building blocks of matter. Atoms 
consists of a nucleus which contains uh, protons and neutrons and electrons that orbit the nucleus. Different elements have different number of protons in their nuclei which determine their atomic number. Atoms can combine to form molecules through chemical bonds. Academic branches in nature and life field are a group of sciences that deal with living things, their life processes and their interaction with environment. Also, as we can see in this diagram, the natural world is organized across a spectrum of spatial scales. Starting from this point, which corresponds to minimal resolution by naked eye, if we move in this direction, this is the macroscopic world. In the opposite, if we move to this direction, this is the microscopic world. We can observe things just after using a microscope. Let's start by this scale. In this scale, we can find atoms, molecules, and the branch of science that deals with this scale is the chemistry. Moving to a larger scale, we can find in this scale uh, biomolecules, for example, lipids, uh, proteins, uh, carbohydrates, uh, nucleic acids. The branch of uh, science that deals with this uh, scale is the biochemistry. Moving to larger scale, we can find viruses in this scale and the science that deals with this uh, uh, scale is called virology. Moving to greater scales, so in this field we can find cells, bacteria, protozoa, chromosomes. There is a group of uh, sciences that deal with these scales, for example, genetics, molecular biology, cell biology, microbiology, parasitology. Moving to a greater scale, we can find the tissues and the, uh, the science that uh, uh, deals with this uh, scale is the histology. But if we want to observe cells in tissues, we have to use a microscope because cells are in the microscopic world. Moving to a greater uh, scale, we can find organs, apparatus, and uh, sciences that deal with these scales are physiology and anatomy. Moving to a greater scale, we can find organisms in different sizes. So, uh, the branches of sciences that deal with this uh, scale are zoology, populations, uh, biology, and ecology. The inner world of the microscopic scale can be studied in the field or in a branch of science called geology. Finally, the biological view defines life in terms of physical processes. So, in nature and life field, we can use biophysics, which is an interdisciplinary science that applies approaches and methods traditionally used in physics to study biological phenomena from molecular to cellular to organism to populations. Also, the biological view defines life in terms of chemical processes and biochemistry uh, provide an overview of the chemical reaction of cells in various species called biochemical pathways. At the end, you can find all this information in this uh, poster, which is in French language. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.